six apps, three or four sentences, how well will they do? We have Yodao, which is very popular in China. Converse, Yodao Tzu is that the same app? That's popular as well. Apparently, Translator, which is from Bing, Google Translate, and iTranslate. These were the six top translation apps on the App Store. How good are they gonna be? Let's open the first one. Yo Dao Fan Yi Guan, okay? Never heard of it before, it's obviously a Chinese app. Let's say some things into it and see how accurate it will come out. Do you know where the metro is? Okay, decent. Yeah, do you know where the metro is? So, you know, someone would understand that. Decent, very simple sentence. It got translated, someone would understand. Excuse me, how do I get to the airport from here? The English was translated okay. It says, excuse me, how do I get to the airport for me? Not really sure. But anyway, the Chinese is, is a bit muddled. It's just a little bit weird. You'd just say like Ji Chang or something like that. Little bit strange to be honest, I think that one. That's too expensive. I don't want to pay that much. Okay, that's that's decent. English was good. That's too expensive. I don't want to pay that much. Uh, it got my English perfect. And the Chinese is again, it's a little bit stunted. No one would really say it like that but they could understand it if they read it. is okay. All right, how about if a Chinese person wants to translate the Chinese to the English? Xi shou jian zhen me zhou. How to pick it up by hand. Is my Chinese not very good? It said, qin xiu lian zhen me zhou. Is my Chinese not very good? Xi shou jian zhen me zhou. Can I get to the bathroom? That time, was it my Chinese? Was it this thing? Probably my Chinese, to be honest. I give that one seven out of 10. It was decent. It translated my English well. And my Chinese, that's just my fault, probably. This one is pay. You have to pay. 30 RMB a month. I translate pro. We're gonna have to get rid of that one. I'm not paying for that. Yo Dao, this is very, very popular in China. I know a lot of people use this one. This one has like a little dialogue screen that you can do. So let's do English first, all right? Okay, so you just speak in English. That's pretty cool. I didn't even do it. I did what I said then it translated. How about you? That's what I said in English. That's pretty cool. Excuse me, how do I get to the metro? Ooh. Excuse me, how do I get to the matter? I said metro. Let's try that again. Hello, how do I get to the subway station? Okay, that was correct. So they doesn't like metro, it likes subway station. But I mean, it was correct. That's way too expensive. I don't want to pay that much. No, that's not what I said. That's not what I said. It translated it as, that's why it's too expensive. But I didn't say that. that that's not my meaning. That's gonna create confusion if you say that to someone. How do I get to the airport from here? Okay, that one was perfect, yeah. How do I get to the airport from here? 你好, 你有空吗? Okay, so if you speak Chinese, it won't have an English voice. You just have to read it. It's a little bit annoying, right? But the translation was correct, I asked do you have free time? Are you free? Ni hao, ni kong ma, hello, are you free? Translated it perfectly, but there's no audio. Tong zhe li dao ji chang yao duo zhou. How long is it from here to the airport? Okay, how long is it from here to the airport? It understood my Chinese this time. I give this one maybe like the same, like six or seven out of 10. I like the fact that it has a chat style screen so you can look 
back at what you've translated. So it's like an actual chat between you and someone else. But to have this like in the middle, a little bit inconvenient. But the translation was decent, okay. Let's try Bing. Let's see how Bing does this. On Bing, you can actually start a conversation with someone on a different phone. You can scan it and it comes up on both phones. I guess that's pretty cool, but we don't have that for now. So I'm just gonna translate something on the screen. English to Chinese. How do I get to the metro from here? Okay, that's decent. What time does this restaurant close? Yeah, perfect. How much is the train ticket from Shenzhen to Shanghai? Absolutely perfect. I like this one. This is from Bing. It's a really simple interface. I said three sentences and it translated them absolutely perfectly into Chinese. Let me just try and speak some Chinese, see if it will understand me. Ni hao di tie zhe me zhou. Hello, how do I get to the subway? <laughs> For some reason, it has an Australian accent when it speaks English, which is absolutely fine. No problem with the Australian accent being. Also, my Chinese was translated perfectly. How many floors is there in this building? All right, well, it translated it right. How many floors are there in this building? But if you're an English person, you'll understand that no problem. Don't know if my tones were right when I said that anyway. But again, it does the job. I actually quite like this one. Out of the three that I've tested, this is probably the best one. I give this a eight and a half, nine out of 10. Google Translate. Can we use this one in China? I think you can now. Hello, how do I get to the metro from here? Hello, how do I get to the metro from here? Yeah, but I want that in Chinese. I want to put that into Chinese. Hello, how do I get to the metro from here? Okay, decent. 100 RMB is too expensive. I will pay 50. Okay, decent. Yeah, I like that. Please, I don't want to drink any more baijiu. I'm already very drunk. <laughs> Perfect. You drink more bars, you still have no mouth. No, not zui ba. Not, Where is the mouth? Not zui. Stop it! This thing's really annoying. It translates and then it, it immediately listens for the other voice. So like who has a conversation like that? It's it's just it's it you need it to slow down. Ni do he jiao, ni hai mei he zui. You drink more, you haven't drunk yet. You drink more, you haven't drunk yet. No, my meaning was have another one, you aren't drunk. So no, not good. I need to go home. It's late. Can I get a cab? No, it's wrong. All right, well, that's Google and Google Translate. That's, that's like a four out of 10, three out of 10. No good. Bing Translate was the best. Yodel was okay. The first one, the uh, Yodel Fanny one was okay. Google Translate, it was often wrong. English was wrong, Chinese was wrong, and it kept trying to translate, it tr kept trying to pick up my voice all the time. If I've just said something, I'm gonna need like five, 10 seconds to read it, or the other person's gonna need time to read it before they wanna speak. So automatically listening for stuff is just, is no good. The very last one, I translate. This is really popular on the app store here. Let's see what it is. Try for seven days, then 35 yuan per month. Absolutely no way. You should not pay for these sorts of things. They are free. You have Bing Translator there, which is free. I'm not using iTranslate. I'm not using that Converse. You have to pay for them. There's no way you should be paying for this. What is the outcome? My favorite app was definitely Bing Translate. For me, it was just easy to use. 
there was a big circle in the middle that you press. It listens, it was accurate most of the time. Yo Dao was also really good. I know that's really popular here in China. Yo Dao also has a screen which makes it look like a chat, you know, like a WhatsApp or a WeChat chat. You can go back and look at the history. So definitely the winners are Bing, and Yo Dao, they are really good. Google was a complete disappointment. Kept listening when I didn't want it to listen, translated things wrong. I think if you get used to it, give it enough time, maybe it will learn, but definitely Yo Dao and Bing Translate were without a doubt the best in today's test. That's it for today's test. My Chinese isn't very good. I feel a bit sorry for these apps because they had to listen to me speaking Chinese and try and translate it. Obviously, I don't speak it very well. I'm not gonna speak it very clearly. So they're having a tough time trying to figure out what I'm trying to say anyway, let alone translate it back into another language. But that's how it's gonna be on the street. When you're using these things, it's gonna be noisy, you're gonna be in a rush, you're gonna be saying things, and it's gonna to have to listen for what you wanna say. But it's gotta be better than absolutely nothing at all. You're not gonna be able to learn a language in two weeks. This is pretty much your only option. But don't pay for them. They are free, being yelled out, free. Don't pay, never pay.